What's up creators, it's Curtis, and in this video I'm going to show you how to connect your Shopify store to my designs and actually publish digital products for sale on your Shopify storefront and take advantage of all the other unique features that my designs has, making it an all-in-one app, basically making it the only app you need to create and sell either digital products or print-on-demand products on your Shopify store, amongst other marketplaces like Etsy, TikTok shops, and soon Amazon. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm over here on the dashboard page in our demo account. The first thing you need to do is go to settings, click the gear icon up here in the top right. And then over in the left menu, you'll see shops. So you click into that. Now, if you do not have your Shopify store connected to my designs, it's really easy to do. You'll come up here and click this connect Shopify button. And that'll open up our app on the Shopify app store. So from here, you should see install. If you already have it installed, it's gonna show open like I have here, but you'll see install. It's a really quick, like one, two step process. Once that's done, it'll redirect you back to this shops page. And you'll see in this case, we got the My Designs uh, demo store connected as well so that I can demonstrate in this video. But that's it. That's how easy it is to set up your Shopify store with My Designs and integrate the two. So now I'm gonna go back home and go over to the listings page. I prepared some digital Tumblr wraps for sale on my Shopify store so I can show this whole process. But first, I'll probably run over to my Shopify store. And the first thing we need to do, this is all you do, need to do once you set up the My Designs app on Shopify, is go to settings and go to checkout because we want to enable the digital download option inside your checkout process. So go to checkout, click customize. Now, if you adjust your theme in the future, you may need to, need to do this on the new theme, but it's really easy. So once you click customize under checkout, then up here, go to the thank you page. And um, up here in the top left where it says sections, click that. And now go to the bottom, it says add app block. It's really simple. Ignore this, that's from a test uh, setup app we have, but it's this one here. It says digital download files, my designs print on demand. So click that. And now you can click back and you can see that we have this my designs block added to the checkout side. So when someone successfully purchases a product, they're gonna to redirect to the uh, thank you page in Shopify. And underneath the product, they'll have this download button. Now, of course, you also wanna go back up here and add this to order status. So if they wanna come back in the future and look up that order and maybe download the files again, you just come back and do the same thing. Go to sections. Again, go to order status first. So you want this on the thank you page and the order status page and that's it, you're good to go. Let's go to order status, go to sections, go down to the bottom here and click add blo app block. Get the digital download file, add that. You can click back. Now you can usually rearrange this. In this case, it can only go here. But again, that download button will appear there. So now someone comes and looks up their order status in the future, the download button's always there. And of course, after purchase, the download button's there. And what's great about this integration with Shopify is on Etsy, we have to give you a PDF as a download link. On Shopify, it's a direct download to the zip file. So when the customer clicks this, it'll download the zip file um, directly to the computer. So with that being said, that's all you gotta do on the checkout experience, you just gotta add those blocks. Once you're done, click save, make sure you click save. And then you're good, you can go exit this. And let's exit this. Now I'm gonna go back over to the listings page in my designs. Again, I have these uh, eight different digital Tumblr apps I created in the past. And I do have a digital Tumblr app video that I can you can go watch if you haven't on my YouTube channel. But basically I created this straight file here and the tapered file. And you can do all this in my designs and do it in bulk very quickly. Now, of course, I have two mockups in this example, well, four mockups. So you can see here, these are the ones we'll select, showing basically what the customer is going to receive. So now that that is done and you have your Shopify store connected, you set up the my designs digital download block inside your theme and that checkout experience. Um, now you can just go publish, but let's make sure I have data. So I wrote this data, the titles and tags with Vision AI. If you're not familiar with that, you can change it to Shopify. It's optimized for Shopify listings. You can just feed it one of your files and give it a little bit more information like custom instructions. Change this to either other or digital. And just say this is a 3D digital Tumblr wrap. Available for instant download after successful purchase. Whatever you want. And you can just generate your listing data in bulk. It's really amazing. But as you can see here, I have all eight of these listings, these Tumblr wraps ready to go. So I'm going to select all. Again, you can see out of eight out of eight selected. Come over to publish on the right side. Again, you gotta have all data selected. Click publish. Now you got print on demand. This is how you publish print on demand products to your different stores. But in this case, we're doing digital. So you can see we got Etsy, we got Shopify because those are the two different stores we have connected. So click Shopify. 
And now we're not converting and uh, selling files because this is a really powerful feature. If you're selling SVG files, we can convert it to EPS, PNG, JPEG, PDF, and DXF, and then create the zip. And again, do that in bulk for anywhere from 48 to 120 listings, depending on your plan. Now, what we're gonna do is select files to sell because we already have the proper files to sell for the customer. So select this, and then you'll choose the file slots that contain those two files. So again, the straight file and the tapered file. And I'm gonna obviously uncheck the default image. So straight and tapered, those are the two we're selling. Go to next step. And now we'll choose our mockups. So we don't need default, we don't need this vector image, we just need these four mockups here. Now you can also drag and drop. So if I wanted this in the first spot, you can drag and drop these wherever you want, right? So let's move that back to number one. That's the primary mockup. This will be secondary, third, fourth, and so on. And up here, you can toggle through your listings to basically see those. You can see we have eight different listings. So we're good on this step. You can add a watermark if you like. It's a generic watermark that puts it over the image so that someone can't really just take the design and run with it. So if you wanted to put like your shop name or whatever it is, you could just type that in here. I'm not gonna do it in this example, but that's how you do it. And we'll just create the watermark for you on the fly. So unchecking that, let's go to next step because we have our four mockups selected. We have them organized how we want them. So next step. And now on this page, you have your title, description, and tags. My design is really powerful because you can set up a custom template however you want, but the default template's perfect for Shopify and Etsy. You don't have to make any changes unless you wish. But if you do and you have different fields for titles and whatnot, you can just click here and just map those fields differently. But now price and quantity, because I already have those ahead of time on the listing itself, it's inserting them, but you can always click bulk edit. I'm gonna go 499 and 999 on the quantity and just click apply. Now again, that is applied to all of these listings that you can see as I toggle through these. So we're good. Now next step, and this is pretty much it. This last step is for previewing your products and selecting your shop if you have more than one connected. So over here under store, I'm gonna change that to my designs. And obviously it's Shopify. And just click publish. If everything looks good here, you'll just click publish. And up here you can see that it's processing. So if you click the notifications, got Shopify digital zero out of eight. You can see how fast this is, already done. So those are live on our Shopify store. So let's move over there and check that out. All right, so over to the Shopify store, I'm gonna to go to products. As you can see here, we got all eight of these digital tumbler wraps ready to go. So I'm just gonna pull one up real quick. Let me pull this up on the storefront. So you can see what that looks like. This is just a basic Shopify theme, by the way, just for this demo. You, of course, can set up really beautiful themes, do whatever you like there. But everything is good here. Um, the price and stuff, I'm going to show you. I'm going to go here and actually edit the price on one of these. Just make it zero, just to go through the purchasing process real quick and save that. So I can show you how the digital product is delivered. It's really easy and, and just smooth. Let me copy link. Uh, I got to remove password real quick. I guess I didn't need to remove password. It won't let me on this development store, but I can just go to products. I already adjusted the pricing to refresh this. This one here, see it's zero dollars. So if I click this, now of course your customer can purchase in the future. Just add to cart. And I'm gonna go through the checkout process. So I'm not sure why on that dev store, it, there's an issue probably because of the custom integration we have set up when we were developing this. So I moved over to a different step, test store of mine and it's, it's a different file, but I'll show you the same process. So if I come over here to the checkout, basically add to cart. And just click complete order because it's free and order being processed. Now, of course, your customer purchases it, they'll be able to download. You see, once the purchase is successful, they got a download button, you click that. That the, contains the zip file that contains the different files that they ordered. So that is how that process uh, works. It's very simple. Now, of course, if I go back to this store, and if you were to ever go to your order status, rather it's through the email or whatever, you'll still have that download button. Your customer will have that download button sitting there for them. But that's how this process works. Uh, very simple, very intuitive. And of course, the orders will import right into My Designs when they happen. And uh, that's it. So that's how you can set up your Shopify store with My Designs to sell digital products in bulk, offer automated order fulfillment, and a whole lot more. Now, of course, we have our entire print on demand suite of features with personalization. So many amazing things happening at My Designs. I hope you'll check it out. If you have any questions, let me know by leaving a comment below. But that's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.